Will Tesla live up to the hype? Robo taxis are on the way, or are they not? Is it hype? Is it fiction? Is it facts? Let's talk about it and get into it. One of the wonderful journalists at CNBC has a report for us. 2015, Elon Musk made a bold promise that Tesla vehicles will drive themselves in two years. While the concept of self-driving has investors and enthusiasts excited, Musk and Tesla have a history of missed promises. Next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. I'm Elon Musk out with a bold promise yesterday. He said there would be a million Tesla robo car, robo taxis, I should say, uh, on the road next year. I'm very confident about full self-driving functionality being complete by the end of this year because I'm literally driving it. I don't know I'm the boy who cried FSD, but I, I, I man, I. I think we'll be better than human by the end of this year. Now, Tesla has announced plans to reveal a new vehicle which will operate as a dedicated robo-taxi, originally in August. And now, in October. You get yeah, it's no problem. A little bit of two months delay, considering that you guys said he's been delaying for a long time. One chance to make a first impression. They need to make sure they hit out of the park. As the rescheduled event approaches, there are still many mysteries about Tesla's plan for robo-taxis. But during Tesla's 2024 Q2 earnings call, Musk reiterated his confidence in realizing its full self-driving efforts. Based on the current trend, it seems as though we should get miles between interventions to be high enough that it's too far enough in excess of humans that we could do unsupervised possibly by the end of this year. I would be shocked if we cannot do it next year. Consumer Reports has said Tesla's full self-driving software, or FSD, represents technical achievements, but it has also been criticized and is still not capable of fully autonomous driving. See, I took over because that guy was taking a turn came too close. With Tesla's EV sales slowing and profit falling, much of the rhetoric from- Wait, hold on, time out, time out. What are they talking about? Tesla 2Q profits fall 45% to 1.8 or 1.48 billion as sales drop despite price cuts and low interest rates. Don't forget that in 2023, we're the best selling car. And also it looks like we're slated to be the best selling car in 2024. But again, let them have it and let them tell it that we're always losing because of one quarter. One quarter defines the whole entire physical year. Come on, guys. Musk in recent months emphasizes it's. And, and they were very specific about the profit falling, not the revenue. See what I'm saying? So we've reduced the margins. And yes, we have lower profit, but we have more profit on things like energy. But OK, continue. AI ambitions with its robo taxi and autonomy as critical to its future. The value of Tesla overwhelmingly is autonomy. I recommend anyone who doesn't believe that Tesla was sold vehicle autonomy should not hold Tesla stock. They should sell their Tesla stock. Tesla's upcoming robo-taxi event has generated investor interest. In the meantime, competitors have made progress. Tesla's fallen behind. They were seen as a pioneer, and now, now there are other companies that have commercial robo-taxis. In one bullish estimate, Raymond James predicts $50 billion in robo-taxi bookings by 2030. Try FSD. It is the best consumer product, I think, since the iPhone. Wall Street gets really excited about the idea of Tesla nailing it with both FSD and with the idea of a dedicated robo-taxi. Musk has big plans for what Tesla's robo-taxi offerings would look like. It's like Airbnb and Uber to some degree. So like there'll be some cars that Tesla owns itself. It's kind of like an Uber fashion. But then for the fleet that is owned by our customers, it will be like an Airbnb thing. At a global scale, you know, the total potential for ride hailing is probably well over a trillion dollars. But actually being able to deliver on that is the big challenge. And also doing it profitably. Revenue is likely years away. That's okay. Like, that's completely okay. Let's say Elon, yeah, the question is not if, but when. And if the question is when, where it's like five years later and we are behind, so be it, right? How's our business model going to be? All right. And let's look at past performance. Now, it doesn't dictate future gains, but again, let's look at it, right? Elon Musk has executed an EV delivery. Nobody else has in the entire United States of America. The only competitor that we have is BYD. Now, when we look to BYD and Tesla, because they're the only actual examples that are profitable in that matter, they're successful, but they weren't successful at the beginning. So they've shown their ability to actually not be able to succeed and not to be able to gain a profit and a loss. And then over time, change that fundamental principle. Have they been able to deliver on the technology? Yes. Outside of FSD. Have they delivered? No. Waymo. OK, they are autonomous already. OK, there's nothing wrong with other people being the first ones. I'll even concede that position, which I still don't agree. But let me concede it because we're solving full self-driving in a different way right? Visuals only, right? Cameras only. 
I don't know if I agree or disagree, but there's some specialists and technicians that disagree, and there's some that agree. So we'll see who wins at the end of the day. But if other people are projecting $50 billion in revenue, and you think that Tesla will not be able to execute at all, while other people are going to be able to execute, then you're underestimating Tesla. And I would further to say they have proven their ability to pivot. So if they are proven wrong and all these other models are beating them, then they could easily change course and change direction. They could do it better than anybody else. But if the competition is wrong about LIDARs and sensors and radars, then they're going to have issues of pivoting from their current construct into a construct like Tesla. But don't worry, we'll license it out to you. So I think that he has the track record of being able to execute. Let's continue. This is something that so far nobody has figured out. Tesla's ambitions to create autonomous vehicles started with advanced driver assistance features it began introducing in its vehicles in 2015. The first iteration, Autopilot, which was sold as an add-on and comes standard today, combined adaptive cruise control and auto steer, a lane centering function. Enhanced Autopilot became a paid upgrade to regular Autopilot, adding Navigate on Autopilot, Auto Lane Change, and a slate of other features, such as Smart Summon. And then there's Full Self-Driving, taking all of these features and incorporated traffic and stop sign control, which allowed Teslas to identify stop signs and traffic lights and automatically stop as needed. In a recent update, the brand name was updated to Full Self-Driving Supervised. For about a decade now, Elon Musk has been promising that the company was going to turn existing EVs made by Tesla into autonomous vehicles with a software update. Instead, they're vehicles with advanced driver assistance systems. It's not the same thing as a so-called robo-taxi. Recently, the company has expanded its scope for autonomy to also include a new vehicle that will operate as a dedicated robo-taxi. Elon Musk recently referred to it as a cyber cab. So there's some excitement and expectation that it might have the aesthetic of the cyber truck, but the company hasn't even taken the wraps off. To gauge whether Tesla is ready for robo-taxis, one must... Well, of course, the company hasn't taken the wraps off because they want it under wraps. They don't want to disclose it before the actual unveiling. That was a stupid point. And then, yes, he has been promising for the long time and he has been wrong. So what? Has he delivered on the Gigafactory? Has he delivered on Mega Factory? Has he delivered on Mega Packs? Has he delivered on EVs? Has he delivered on Starlink? Has he developed, de excuse me, delivered on reusable rockets? Yes. So has he delivered on, delivered on a lot of things? Yes. Has he not delivered on some things? Yes. But I think what most people actually miss is that they're talking to the mind of the designer. They're talking to the engineer. They're talking to basically the manufacturer. Everything that he's thinking about, everything that he thinks about doing and implementing and strategizing, he just tells you. Unlike other companies, they usually just don't unveil the research and development and what they got as far as what's currently under research and development and when they're going to deliver and projected dates and et cetera. Uh, Tesla does that. And so when they do that, they tend to show all the information and provide information to people. And then when people are saying, well, you didn't deliver, it's not that we didn't deliver. It got delayed. We're still researching. We're still developing. We haven't had the breakthrough yet. And then we have the test for the breakthrough. But the engineering feats and the Cybertruck alone is an engineering masterpiece, just like the feat for the Model 3. Model 3 is the most effective and efficient and safest car in the United States of America, and it's the best-selling car in the world. So saying that he hasn't delivered, though he's building out massive amounts of factories that's three times the size of the Pentagon, built in less than 12 months, it's really insane because there's a lot of other things that gets delivered, just not FSD, right? But no surprise. It's a new AI. It's an artificial intelligence that's real world and it's general in a sense where it can drive itself. It usually takes somebody at least 16 years in order to actually get a permit to be able to drive. So it takes the human a long time to be able to drive. So it's OK. Artificial intelligence can take its time. First look at its software capabilities. Tesla says that they're what's known as a level two vehicle. And that's a technical term that's used in regulation and legislation. Level two vehicle means that the driver is there to supervise what's going on with the self-driving features. A level two vehicle is never ever supposed to be a robo taxi. Most companies that have developed autonomous vehicles, meaning level three plus hands-free systems, use a wider array of sensors in their vehicles. Unlike competitors, Elon Musk has been adamant about using a vision-based approach to self-driving that relies mostly on cameras. When they start 
we're going to get into the next video and have a conversation about the vision base and the other approaches. So Elon Musk, Tesla, and other competitors have different approaches to the actual solution of automated driving. We shall see, especially on 1010. I'm super excited about the event, but I want to keep these videos short. So like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys can get this information when everyone hates Tesla. And then again, the next video, we'll get into robo taxis and the difference between Tesla and his competitors. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's electric.